Hi YouTube, Tap Mom 43 here. I can't get that Tap Mom 43 out of my head. Tap Mom. Um, probably because when I log in, it's still Tap Mom 43. The uh, when you change your name here on YouTube, it doesn't change your login information. Just so you know that. Cat Cassidy, I thought I'd tell you that, honey. Um, this morning, a friend of mine called me and said they she had went to an estate sale right around the corner from my house, and so I grabbed up. I ran down to the bank and I grabbed up 20 bucks and I ran to this estate sale. If you're wondering what this is, this is my jacket that Jenny sent me. I wore this this morning because it was chilly out and it's raining and damp and shit probably from that Hurricane Isaac or whatever. But uh, yeah, sometime you guys should look up HARP, H, capital H, capital A, A, R, P. Check that shit out. You'll know what the fuck is going on with our weather. But now that I added that little FYI information thing in there, uh, I hit this uh, estate sale right around the corner from my house this morning. And I got some really fucking awesome shit. And I will be putting a lot of it on Peg's Resale Vintage Shop on Facebook. And you guys, I'm sorry. I know you're probably going there and you're not seeing the shit that you're that you're seeing in my video. It's because I haven't had time to load the fucking pictures. But I please bear with me. I will get all the pictures loaded with prices and everything. And you can hit that and then email me. And if you want to buy something, any of this stuff that I'm about to show you is going to be for sale on Peg's Vintage Shop. But it is going to take me a couple days to upload upload download upload download whichever it is i don't fucking know but <laughs> upload upload or download the pictures whichever it is it's going to take me a couple days to do that so please bear with me but everything i'm about to show you i was just so excited that i found all this stuff for 10 freaking dollars 10 dollars guys everything i'm about to fucking show you i got for 10 bucks and a lot of it will be for sale on Peg's Resale Vintage Shop. So if you want, you see anything I'm about to show you and you want it, go there, send me an email from there, and I'll get back with you and we can hook up. So I got this really fucking cool garment bag. And I know some of my girls are, are fashion girls and they do fashion. And like Cat Cassidy, this is really cool. Or Miss Pink Fabulous or Sammy Davis or any of you girls. It's a, what it is, is a fashion bag. And it unzips like this and it's big inside and you put your clothes in there and somehow hook it up I think oh right here there's a little hook for the hanger you throw your clothes in there and put the hanger through the hole right here and you can fold the clothes up very nicely they don't get all wrinkly and uh, zip the bag back up Zip. where's the zipper here we go Zip. <laughs> if I can find the zipper, it takes me a minute. Put some hair around it, right? <laughs> zip, zip it up. Throw your clothes in there. Poke the hanger through there. Snap it shut. And voila! You have all your outfits that you're going to your fashion show in one out, uh, one place in one garment bag. And it says Con Garments on it, and it's really cool. KK. I thought of Kim Kardashian, but it's the KKs are facing each other instead of the other way but calm garment bag is going to be for sale in pegs resale vintage shop and i'll probably only sell it for like five bucks and three bucks shipping or something like that so if somebody's interested in that garment bag hit me up at pegs resale vintage shop on facebook and i will in this video put the linky dinky do thing right down below here somewhere but as i stated in my earlier when i first started the video give me a little bit of time because i work at burger king like four days a week and it's usually like seven in the morning till four in the afternoon so i'm pulling like a nine hour shift two or three days a week so it take i come home i'm freaking tired guys you know dealing with stuck on freaking stupid and shit but anyways so estate sale back to the deal peg back to it okay and jenny um you should have got your box today let me know if you got it either give me a call or shout me out or something uh estate sale things I got. I got this garment bag and then I got this cute little cute as fucking what little purse. It's a little vintage purse. It's like satiny and it's so cute. And that's the little clasp. I'll get up and show you up close. And it's the little clasp on it and it's like satiny and I've only found a one or two little spots on it. There's a little spot on it right here. There's a little spot but you can't even tell when you're holding the purse. You can't even tell. And it's immaculate inside. I got this purse for 50 cents. 50 cents, guys. 
So I'll probably be selling it for like two bucks. Two bucks and two bucks shipping. Cute as what with the little gold chain. And it's brown, it's dark brown. Can you see it there? Dark brown, little, it's got a gold, it's got a gold chain, gold little handle, of which you can either hold it by the little gold handle or you can pop the chain, stick it inside, and it becomes a clutch. Now, you can't tell it has a clasp on it at all. It becomes a little clutch purse. So, that's going to be for sale in Peg's Resale Vintage Shop. I'm so excited that I hit this estate sale this morning. This lady is moving out of town. She's moving to Hawaii for a job, and she's selling all her stuff, and she wears the same size as me in clothes and the same size shoes. And her mom just passed away, and she has a bunch of her vintage purses and other things, too. So I'm going to put this up for sale in Peg's Vintage Shop. And then I found this one, and this was just too damn cute. I couldn't pass this up. She asked for two bucks for this one, but it was well worth it. It's so cute. It's got tissues inside to hold the, but it's like a satiny little purse. And it, it's like that shape right there. And it's got also a long ass body handle. So you can put it on your body like this, like that. Put it in front of you like that. And it pops open. I'm gonna put the tissue back in it to keep its form. And it snaps closed or once again you can take the handle and pop it inside like so snap it closed and you have a little clutch you got yourself a little clutch purse and that's going to be for sale in pegs resale vintage shop on facebook so if you're interested in this little purse go to pegs resale vintage shop and check it out and i will probably have the pictures up tomorrow or the next day i'm i work tomorrow all day tuesday and then I think I work Wednesday. I'll be off Thursday. So by Thursday, the pictures will be up. But like I said, all you got to do is hit me up and say, Hey, Peg, I like that little round satin purse. That one you put across your body. The long one. It's black. With the little cute bottom on it. And I will get back to you. You know? That's about all I can do. So let me get, get on with what I got here. I thought this was really badass. For some reason, I thought of Jason, Jenny, when I seen this. Maybe because he drinks, likes to drink some beers. It's a frosted uh, glass that's like a fucking cone. It comes down like a horn or something. I just thought that was cute as what? Cute as what? It's a frosted glass. It's a frosted horn glass. And that I'm going to put it up for sale in Peg's Resale Vintage Shop. It's about that big. About yay big, probably 12 inches, and it goes down into a cone, like a horn, like a little horn. It's cute as what? I'm going to be selling that on Peg's Resale Vintage Shop. Then I got some plastic cups, but I'm not going to sell these. I'm going to keep these for my grandbaby for like a dime a piece. Then I got these two little... Uh, like little champagne sifters here for celebration and I'm gonna put those up for sale in pegs resale vintage shop some celebrating somebody can pick these up and do some celebrating <laughs> and probably for like five bucks or something a couple bucks shipping if I don't break them before I get them up for sale <laughs> that is so let me get on with it. I found this little shirt. And like I said, everything you see me showing you now will be for sale in Peg's Resale Vintage Shop, but it's going to take me a minute to get the pictures uploaded. Okay, this is by Styleworks. It's a vintage shirt. Styleworks. And this is what it looks like. It's got like a leopard print. And it's got that shimmery. It's like a shimmery material. I don't know if the camera is going to pick it up or not. But these buttons, these snaps on it are like little snappies. And it's that's how I know it's definitely vintage because they don't make these anymore. But that's the front. And I will have better pictures on Peg's re Resale Vintage Shop. So anything you see here, I'm going to go through real quick. Excuse me again. I got the burps. 
I'm already up to 10 minutes, so this will probably be another 30 minute video. I found this and it still had the tag on it from Old Navy and it's a small, but it's a beautiful white linen shirt by Old Navy and it's going to be up for sale and it's got rolled up sleeves and it still has the tag on it. So it was like brand new. And like I said, everything I got, I spent today, I took 20 bucks with me and I only spent 10 of it. So this is also going to be up for sale. This is a large by Ra, <laughs> by RQT, a large sweater with this really cool freaking design on the front of it. It's like beads and silver. It's really cool. But that will be for sale in Peg's Resale Vintage Shop. Pink sweater with the really cool um, collar on it. Then I got these brown jeans. They're Jordash jeans and they're straight legs and they are size 12 and I don't know if they're going to fit me because I've lost a bunch of weight and I'm back into my size woo, back into my size sevens and these are a 12 so they will probably go up for sale they're straight leg jeans by Jordash and the, yes they definitely are old school high top high waist up to the boobs the crotch <laughs> up to the boobs high waisted jeans so if you're interested in these and you wear a size 12, hit me up on Peg's Resale Vintage Shop and uh, we can get together. There you go. And everything you see that I'm showing you in this video today will be for sale, but it's going to take me a minute, give me some time to upload the pictures. But like I said, I work full time. So everything you see here, you can also leave me a comment here in this video and say, hey, Peg, I really like that pink sweater. Hold that for me and I will, I will do that for you and that I can do that too. So if you'd like anything I'm showing you and you want it, leave me a comment and tell me, hey Peg, I want that black sweater or I want that pink sweater or I like that pantsuit or yeah, I want that garment bag or whatever, okay? So here's a really nice fucking black sweater by New York and Company in a size medium. Nice as what? No snags, tags, tears or rips. Now I got this one, which is a large from Apartment 9, and I thought that was just bad as what. It's got these really cool tight at the wrists and then flare out at the bottom of the sleeves here, and it's like, I don't know how to describe it. It's like wrinkly. The fabric on it is like wrinkly. I'm going to try to sneak up on my camera and see if it'll show you. It's really cool, though by apartment nine in a large. And I just thought that was badass. So this shirt and those Jordache jeans would look probably really badass together. So all this stuff's gonna be for sale and pegs resale into chop. Here is a Palmetto shirt in a large and I thought this was so pretty. It's got a really beautiful Hawaiian design on it. And wait till you see the skirt that I found to go with this. And I might do an OOTD with this shirt that's going to be for sale. <laughs> with the skirt that I found to go with this. The skirt is just too much. I love this skirt. And it's white. The, color, the colors in the shirt are beautiful. They're just gorgeous. And then I found this skirt laying next to that shirt. Like she must have wore this skirt with that shirt at one time. It's beautiful. It's by uh, Carol Laurent and it's a size 36 skirt. And it's like a pleated skirt and it's cotton and it flares way out. If I could show you, it flares way the hell out. Can you guys see that? And it's gorgeous. I mean, just beautiful. So I might do an OOTD with this skirt and this shirt that is going to be up for sale. And I'll show you how beautiful it looks together. Okay. Then next, I found this Ed Michaels pantsuit, which is badass. It's a vintage pantsuit like the one Jen had. It's blue and white, though, instead of flowers. 
hers was uh, flowery and it's got a cute little belt with it it's got a cute little belt and it's a pantsuit it's got pants isn't that cool it's got pockets and buttons pockets and buttons so that's going to be for sound pegs resale vintage shop cool as what get your pantsuit today I just thought that was sweet. I couldn't pass it up. All the stuff that you see will be for sale in Peg's Resale Vintage Shop. These are a pair of uh, really cool pants by Liquid X in a size 5. And they're like checkers. Blue and white and black checkers. And they are bell bottoms like a mofo. Can you guys see that? bell bottom like a mofo and they got that really cool blue and white pattern reminds me of a chef like chef pants so they're a size five and that's the back there's no pockets and the booty so i'm going to be putting these up for sale in pegs resale vintage shop and they are a size five then this next pair of pants i found i might end up keeping these because nobody's going to want them because they are fucking crazy <laughs> crazy like the mama <laughs> it's flowers all kinds of flowers big ass flowers <laughs> and bell bottoms so I might have to do a OOTD with <coughs> excuse me with these on <laughs> they're like jeans they're like jeans with bell bottoms and do a OOTD and let you know how this came out but these are also going to go up for sale, too, because I think their pants are going to be a little bit too big for me. But, yeah, they're awesome. They are made by, oh, I don't know who they're made by. Tags scratched out. Oh, Jones of New York. <coughs> Jones of New York, I guess. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. I had me a coffee fit here. But they're loud and proud, so... That is my video of my estate sale. Oh, wait, hold on. One more thing to show you, and I was real excited about these. Like I said, the lady had the same size shoes or feet and the same size, she wore the same size clothes as me. These are no no. No restrictions. These are by no restrictions. And they are fucking cute as what? They're like satin, and they remind me of the Jessica Simpsons, the style of them. And these, I think I will be keeping, ladies, but you never know. Go to Peg's Resale Vintage Shop and see what I put up. Most of the stuff that I showed you here, I will be putting up. And thanks for watching my crazy ass, all 18 minutes of it. I greatly appreciate it, and peace.